When you're thinking about a secondary school for your children, what values do you think are really important for them? A learning community. Ambition for all. Developing responsibility. An enriching curriculum. A focus on self-development. These values are what underlines everything we do at Hastings every day as your child moves through their time at secondary school. At the beginning of each year, we challenge every pupil in the school to be part of our picture. The picture that we take on exam results day for the children that have achieved amazing grades, amazing progress or been amazingly successful. On our picture this year, I'm going to start with Josh Clark, one of our very able students who came out with nine GCSE grades at grade nine, the very best grade you can get. That puts him in the top 50 people in the entire country in terms of results. Obviously last year we had our Year 11s who didn't quite obviously manage to uh, take their exams. However, uh, we had a couple of students who excelled themselves over the two years and um, some of the, a couple of the students off those pictures, so there was Sophie Kenny who was the uh, head girl. Um, she excelled herself, pushed herself tremendously over the two years and she achieved uh, nine, uh, over nine subjects uh, between grades seven and nine which is an outstanding achievement. Megan was a pupil um, with additional needs, um, always had a smile on her face, nothing phased Megan at all. Um, um, and then she's in the picture because of her attitude and her willingness to learn and her enthusiasm teamed with the support from Hastings meant that she, you know, reached her goals really. Uh, there were two sisters, twin sisters, uh, Ellie and Bryony Spink. Uh, both of those students uh, really excelled themselves, not in terms of necessarily getting like grade nines and all the subjects, but they um, each student has target grades and between them they surpassed their target grades across their subjects between two and three grades. Uh, which was an absolutely amazing achievement, um, which really shows if you put the hard work in, you reap the benefits. We were there when, we, when they opened their envelopes with, um, uh, and um, they uh, were somewhat surprised. Um, even though they had worked really hard and they knew they'd worked hard, just that sense of achievement when they opened the envelope and got all those fantastic grades. Um, there was tears, <laughs> there was smiles, laughter. Um, yeah, there was a whole variety of mix of emotions, but um, uh, once obviously when they managed to sort of come down from that moment it was you know uh, pure joy and happiness of uh, the state of their achievement and it was it was amazing to see them and uh, to have been part of that journey along there with them. Here at Hastings we very much care about the future of our pupils and that they're able to pursue a career in their chosen subject. These high grades that they achieve allow them to do this. Year after year we're really pleased with the progress our students make in their final exams. Due to last year's summer results being replaced by centre assessed grades, it's important that we show you the last two years of our results. As you can see, our English and maths results are extremely high and well above national average. This means doors are open for many of our students. Last year, we were top in Leicestershire for pupils achieving a grade five in maths and English. Every year, we have around half of our students achieve at least one grade seven in one subject or more. This shows how they thrive in their specialist subject that they have chosen. Pupils that achieve a grade seven or more, it opens the doors for them to go on to A-levels at our local college providers. Results in 2019 placed us top of the county for progress in mathematics and it placed us top 10 for progress, attainment and results in English and maths. I'm Mrs Ellsworth, I look after funded interventions at Hastings. That means that anything a child needs um, from uniform, equipment, uh, mental health, anything like that, we organise all of that to make sure they're all part of our Hastings family. Um, over this summer we've had lots of calls from families, um, particularly with the current climate, whose financial circumstances have changed um, and who are very upset and worried that they may not be able to afford um, all the equipment and the uniform and the trips for the future for their children um, and have been able to help those families out and help them to know they're part of our Hastings family and they can still have access to everything that every other child has. That makes it all worthwhile. During a student's school life it's very easy to not look beyond when you leave school and not necessarily understand what life entails upon leaving. So at Hastings we've just developed our brand new character education programme looking at developing the whole character so we're looking at the PSHE updated guidelines to focus on personal, social, health and economic education. 
We offer a lot of pastoral support, both at a tutor level and then additional pastoral care. We have different departments that work to support the students uh, with whatever needs that they need at that time. It's split into three strands, relationship education, personal health and wellbeing and living in the wider world. And it goes all the way through from when they start out of school to the day that they leave. We cover various aspects such as emotional literacy, bullying, staying safe online and making sure that you're aware of what the digital footprint means. Relationships, so family dynamics, making sure that we avoid toxic relationships and how to build positive relationships. We don't necessarily focus on grades, such as core subjects like English, Math and Science, but actually we focus on the development of skills, students being able to formulate their own points of view and their own opinions, which they can take forward with them through life. When students leave Hastings, we hope that they will have the skills and attributes needed to be positive members of society. Whatever challenges students may face, we ensure they are well equipped after leaving Hastings High School. In terms of the careers programme, what we actually aspire to do is make students aware of different uh, employment pathways that are available to them post-16. We introduce them to different employment pathways through um, working with employers, through careers events, through the pastoral programme and our character development programme that they follow in tutorial time. We focus on key employability skills but also we look at long-term labour market trends look at how employment is changing, look at our history, um, how employment history has changed in the past and so on, to make sure that our learners in the school are really prepared for the future. Every student in the school has a mock interview with a local employer and they receive written feedback on that as well. And this is just another example of the sorts of things that we cover within the Career uh, Character Development Programme. To support this further, we have talks, we have guest speakers, both in curriculum areas, and also we have some high profile people come into the school and speak to a year group. For example, an ex-pupil of Hastings is the UK media director of Facebook and they've recently spoken to year 10 students and um, discussed how they got into that particular career pathway. These sorts of things really hit home with students and develop and inspire them in their own careers, interests and pathways. At Hastings we aim to foster a love of learning a love of learning that goes beyond the school gates and beyond the five years that the young people spend with us. From talking to pupils, we've developed what we call our Hastings USP. That means that in each lesson we have a focus start with our first five minutes that ignites their thinking. And we make sure we create an opportunity for them to speak. We call it our oracy opportunity. Every pupil's voice should be heard and that can happen through discussion or debate. So here we have a teaching and learning research group made up of different staff members from different departments across the school. Here we look up and research the latest techniques and find the best way to implement them here at Hastings. We do this through different staff training and this really helps support staff and also boost progress across the school. Both of these are key parts which ensures the best for every child here at Hastings. Here at Hastings we believe that academic excellence doesn't happen by chance. Um, we understand that it comes from having very high expectations and aspirations for all of our pupils. Also fundamental to that is our ethos of care and excellence for all and it is not accidental that care comes first. We understand that when people are cared for, they are happy, they feel safe then they will learn and academic excellence will naturally follow it. It's a testament to our ethos that we have so many teachers at Hastings that were once themselves former pupils and so many staff that choose to send their own children to Hastings. It really is a place where adults are happy to work and children are happy to learn. I was a pupil here back in the 70s, early 70s. Um, my children bo both came here and I've been a staff member here for nearly 30 years. The reason I keep coming back is because um, it's, it is definitely, I know everyone talks about the Hastings family, but it always has been. It's part of this community, a big part of this community. And it's something I think that this community needs. The children that come through it, the parents, and even the grandparents that I see year after year, um, decade after decade really. But, the ethos of the school has really always been the same and that is every child matters whether they're whether they're talented academically or talented at sport 
or um, socially or whatever it is, um, it doesn't really matter. Every child in this school is given the same chance. In my position at Hastings, I'm very lucky to be able to walk the corridors and see Hastings in action on a daily basis. And in classrooms, along the corridors and in playgrounds, I see the interactions between staff and pupils and how much we care for each other and the mutual respect um, that means that pupils thrive not just in terms of what they achieve when they leave Hastings but what they go on to achieve for the rest of their lives. My children carry that with them even to this day that the values of this school are lifelong values that we um, need I think to become mature and useful adults in society um, and I think that I hope that never changes here. Our curriculum focuses on developing the whole child, on developing opportunities both to learn and practice the skills that will both help them in school and outside of school so that they may become the people that they want to be and that society needs them to be. Um, so I had never really had any other thoughts about where I wanted to go to because my brother and my sister both went here and they both really really enjoyed it. So they recommended it to me and said, look, there's no other place that you would have wanted to go. And I remember when, when they left, they were all you know, they were crying, their faces were streaming with tears. And I was saying, I kind of want that. I want, to, I want that value, those values to be in, imbued in me when I go. In early 2016, I lived in Manchester still, and I moved down here to be closer to family. And it was very daunting. I didn't have many friends. And Hastings was the options. Uh, was the only school I could get to and I'm glad it was Hastings because it's such a good school. So if you're new here, it's, accept it's an accepting school. It's important for everybody to feel like they have a place somewhere and somewhere that they can feel that they belong and this is a place where everybody is so varied but also so the same. It's really welcoming and it's a really, really enriching environment for everybody. In the future I plan to go to college and then university, uh, aspiring to join a career of engineering or even the armed forces. So I believe Hastings support me well in that. So they uh, give me advice, they give everyone advice. Uh, there's always opportunities to ask teachers if you're unsure about what route you want to take in the future. So they're very informative about, about all of that. To someone who is like 11 years old, I'd say that they shouldn't be nervous. <laughs> Um, because everybody's really accepting here and I'd say you should really give it a go and try it because although everything might seem really scary Hastings is such an accepting place for everybody and there's always something for everybody to do and they really set it really sets people up for different abilities and different skill levels um, and there's really something here for everybody. Yeah so if someone was saying I want to go to Hastings I'd say yeah you've made the right choice it's a great school it's a, it's a great community to be part of, it's a great family. So I th I'm sure you'll do very well at Hastings. At Hastings we very much recognise that um, every child has their own individual needs and they're ever-changing and at Hastings we strive to um, provide a service to them so that they can gain as, you know, reach their full potential with education and life beyond that. Um, and when we support the pupils in school, it's not just about those, it's about their family and beyond. Who is there for them um, once they leave school? Yes, we are their family, uh, very much so uh, between school hours, but it's to extend that and further. So get to know the family, get to know how we can support them. And we do, we build very strong relationships with homes. Um, and the, f the family and how we support them. Hastings is a very oversubscribed school. Last year we had over 360 applications for just 160 places. For the latest admissions policy and information on how to apply to the school, please see the school website. We hope we've given you an insight into what life would be like for your son or daughter at Hastings. If you would like to come and visit in person, please contact the school. And just as we end, we'd like to remind you what our key values are. A learning community. community, ambition for all, developing responsibility, an enriching curriculum, a focus on self-development. Thank you for joining us on our virtual open evening and we hope to see you soon. <laughs>